Corolla. Huh? What a beautiful. She's oh, she's looking good. Yeah, guys, that's far. More to our, our left here. Yeah. She's amazing. I didn't check it nicely. It looks like Corolla. Yeah, it's not so far. It's very like it's about meters here. Let me go forward that you can see. Very different there. You can see the very different there. I just want to show you the very different there. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, I think the best way. It's a perfect, excellent Mako. You can see what Kurula is now stocking. I was, I mean, more giving information how the leopard uh, gets to the animal. If it's really in the hunting mode, how the lions do, how the cheetahs do, how the wild dog do. So this is Kurula here. She's after the leopard, as you can, she's after the bird drake, as you can see. Any chances of uh, a leopard, she can sneak very close, stalking and I mean, creating a moment of herself to come so close towards the animal. As soon as he's so close and a comfortable zone, she's going to jump on top of the animal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is amazing. Uh, I'm aware leopard now is a little bit now difficult to see, but because she's hunting, we just want to create uh, more chance, a fair chance for a leopard to come so close to the antelope not to get it disturbed. If that leopard can make a kill, we're able to stay with the leopard for the rest of the afternoon here. Yeah, she's really, really amazing. Look how she's going. Yeah. You can see it, still see that. Got it. Got it. <laughs> yeah, the first kill. Oh, wow, that's amazing. In front of us. We haven't seen that, but uh, this is amazing. Wow. Amazing. Oh, it's a safari. It's a safari. Okay, not yet. Wow. Look at that. This is a hit. Unbelievable safari female. This is our first kill on what if. Really amazing. Look. What amazing. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say in front of the camera. Yes. Unbelievable. It's our first day. This is our first day, Marco. This is amazing. So we've got to feel a bit sorry for the daycare, but this is just the way nature this, goes, eh? Yes, of course. It's really how the nature actually. Uh, the major circle of the bush take place. I mean, a leopard have to kill gray, gray decker in order to survive. You know, Marco, I don't know. <laughs> this is amazing. It tells me that I can cry. Right? This is amazing. I'm not crying because of uh, I feel very bad for. for uh, come, come on. Um, Plymouth Catlands, soon you get. Uh, um, yeah, between the two Makulu Shidulu, keep heading straight west. Um, before you get to, you see my mobile calls are heading to uh, Shatimi. It's amazing because for me, it's been a long time I've been seeing uh, a leopard going for killing something in front of us since we've been here on Wild Earth. What does this mean? You know, as I said, I feel like I can cry, I feel like I can do something, you know, I can run and go very far from here. But anyway, I have to enjoy this. It's really, really amazing. Let me, to be honest, say very seldom to see a leopard in front of you uh, catching an uh, animal. It's very, very seldom. We have seen a lion, leopard, and we are creating a chance for a leopard to be far, not to get to disturb the animal. If we really disturb it, we'll, I believe we'll be in a position not to see this. This is amazing. Marco, this is amazing. Safari female. As I said, uh, I thought maybe if, 
from the beginning. Uh, we, because she was facing another direction, she would look like a Kurula. And now that Kurula is a, is a daughter of Safari, they almost look the same. But because we're in a distance, we didn't want to come so close. She's a Safari female. She made a kill. Wonderful. Excellent. I think um, considering this is something that's very new for us, so this is the first time we've uh, seen a kill happening right here live on Wild Earth TV. Um, and I know that uh, for a lot of viewers out there, a lot of uh, sensitive viewers, this could be something quite hard to see. But um, I think it's very important maybe just to talk about it uh, um, as, as uh, cruel as it could seem or as harsh as it could see to see this, uh, uh, this daker, this young daker going uh, under the leopard's jaw there. One has to keep in mind that for this beautiful leopard to survive, for us to be able to see these leopards, to see them in a natural environment and to be able to have the opportunity to see their beauty, th this has to happen. This happens every day. This is part of the circle of life and um, uh, unfortunately uh, dakers have to fall under leopard uh, in order to continue this whole circle and this whole process. And um, yeah, and we're just very, very uh, fortunate to be able to witness something amazing like this. Um, so as harsh as you can see, this is uh, just nature in its uh, in its uh, true elements of uh, what it is. This is uh, unbelievable, eh, Rex? Yeah, for sure. As I said, I don't know, to, how can I say it? It's really, really amazing. It's beautiful. I know some part of the world, I mean, seeing I mean, leopard uh, killing something. I have guests before in my vehicle. They even cry. They even close their eyes. But really, we have to understand for the leopard to survive, they have to kill something else. Otherwise, the species don't want to survive around in our environment. That might be all died. So this is something amazing. This is something that you have to understand all of us. And we might we know that uh, it might be people that can close the computer not to watch because of the uh, leopard killing uh, grey deck in front of uh, everyone. So really, let us understand as Marco said, uh, we really, as myself, if this happened, if, if this happened to me, it's is something that I was waiting for long. It's, it could be a reward in front of God to see this. It's very, very seldom. It's too expensive. Sometimes we forget to see. I mean, I was a filmmaker. I've spent at least six to a, six months to a year to to see a kill in front of a vehicle, even up to five years. Seeing this, it is really, really amazing. You can't see it so easily, and you have to to work very hard to get to see that. So it's something that today just come with that uh, really working so much hard to get to see this so for us it's a reward for us it's something that we really i'll go back to the lodge uh having a big smile for the rest of the night i can even dream it's amazing it's actually very interesting as well Rex, to see the, the, the system that uh, this leopard uses yeah. you can see it's not uh, a big fight really she's got it by the throat she's asphyxiating it and uh, that's how she makes her kill yeah? But easy, she just and what she's doing that she's using all these uh, cannon to block the wind pipe huh, for the animals not to breathe. And I think now the leopard won't survive. I think, as you can see, the eyes are turning into the blue colors. Uh, she's finishing it. And what's gonna happen here? Well, it's interesting. The leopard might take uh, this gray decker up into the tree and let this afternoon. So it's something that uh, really we witness in front of us and we're hoping, staying with uh, uh, Mapokos, we're hoping something like this might happen today and uh, definitely it's happening from the line, from the leopard, not from Mapokos. Maybe we'll go back to Mapokos and see another kill because we have seen the bachelor head of buffalo are moving on that direction. It will be something that we really, it's been a long time we're looking for it, I mean, around the area. If it's like this for us in the daily basis, see, a work a kill for leopard or, uh, or, or lions, really it can make us more happy.